Hello, welcome to this video on proportional editing. So what is proportional editing? Well, it's useful for moving sort of larger portions of mesh. It lets you affect unselected elements according to an adjustable sphere of influence, if you will, uh, with various fall off types. So what does that actually mean? If I take our cube here and I press tab to go into edit mode, I press W and I'll find subdivide and I'll just press there a couple of times to give us a few more vertices to work with here. I'll select a vertex in the corner with right click, I press G to grab and we'll notice that we're only affecting that vertex because that's the only vertex that we have selected. We'll find proportional editing on the header of the 3D view, so down here we can select that and choose enabled in this case and a new menu appears next door to it and this is the fall off type and the default is smooth here. So we'll see now if I press G to grab this sort of circle appears. Now this is the sort of sphere of influence of the proportional editing. I can control its size by using the mouse wheel sort of up and down like that or by using the page up and down keys. You can see that the vertices now within this sort of influence area are being pulled as well as the one that we've got selected. If I left click and confirm this, we can also adjust in the operator panel after the fact the proportional size and this is useful if you want to sort of adjust this after the fact or if you've got a, a specific number uh, size of the proportional editing in mind. So it's control Z and uh, move out of that. I'm going to discuss a couple of these fall off types. Let's choose spheres first of all. So this could be useful for example if I select a vertex in the middle here I press G and then Z to move only along the Z axis. You can see how we can pull up and with the right sort of size here we could make a sort of dome shape like that. On layer 2 I've got a plane which I've subdivided again a number of times just to give us the, enough vertices to work with and the, another four of these fall off types is random so again I'm going to press G and Z and uh, you can see how now we've got a sort of randomized uh, action on the vertices and I don't know maybe you could make some kind of uh, it's almost like a sort of mountainous terrain or something like that um, if you will on layer 3 I've got a spiral of vertices and this is to demonstrate the two different types of proportional editing we've got here. We've got enabled and we've got connected. So with enabled if we press G and Z again you'll see that all the vertices are oh, still on random. Well, let's choose uh, smooth here so uh, G and Z. You can see how we're again we're, we're affecting all the vertices in, in towards the middle of this sort of spiral here whereas with connected what it will do is follow the edges from a from the selection so if I press G and Z now and make the proportional size really small we can see that we're pulling up here and then if we increase our size how more and more vertices are affected and we can go round and round the thing and make a sort of spiral here so that's actually really useful if you've if you've got pieces of mesh that you don't want that are unconnected you use this connected option and then the proportional editing will only be affecting those vertices on layer 4 I've got our famous monkey Suzanne and I want to show you here that proportional editing if we change back to enabled you can also use the other transforms so rotate and scale for example so I could rotate the ear here maybe a little bit and um, make a look a little bit stranger and it'll also work yes with scale so I could select a loop around here with alt and right click and uh, maybe scale the eye up a little bit like this and uh, indeed it will work the other way as well so we could scale this one down and make Suzanne look a little bit uh, strange there. So anyway I urge you to have a go with the proportional editing, play around with these different fall off types, I'm sure you'll find a use for it, um, it's, a, it's a really good tool to be aware of.